I'm recording, so be careful who you talk smack about. All right, so uh, we're gonna. This is our second attempt to get this fixed. So let me explain why we had to abort last time, because I think it's uh, it's helpful. So we made we made a couple mistakes here. It's not any one person's fault. Um, my mistake was not taking a closer look at this when I first put the line work together. Because um, obviously, so here's why it's so important to put the boundary result boundary drawing together as soon as possible after you have the line work resolved is because normally when you go through that, when you go through the process of having to document your own resolution, you inevitably find something that looks a little funky. And so sure enough, I sat down with Matt and we went to document this and I realized, oh, hey, crap, this doesn't fit as good as I thought it did. I should have looked a little closer at this. So that was my bad, dude. Here I am 30 days after we put this line work together trying to write down what I did. We're going to have the same problem on Mills Park. Uh, you know, I didn't do a good job. I tried to write some stuff down, but, you know, it's, it's going to be ugly. Um, so, don't be like me is the moral of that story, okay? So the other mistake that we made is, uh, we just made some stupid survey procedure mistakes here. So let me tell you about what Matt and I fixed. And one of the things you're gonna, you will learn as a good boundary surveyor is there's, you know, there's probably a half a dozen different ways to draw this square right here, mm -hmm. which is our subject parcel. And none of them are necessarily wrong. Uh, Unless you're taking the LS exam or the LSIT, there, there can be more than one correct answer to the question of boundary resolution. Um, so it's really important that we explain what we did, right? Because there's multiple ways to do it. And so you need to explain why you did what you did. And, you know, the, the different solutions to this, this block here don't make a huge difference. You know, we're moving these lines a couple tenths or a half a foot at the most. But it's also San Francisco, and somebody's probably going to try and build something on zero set back here. Okay. So let's talk about some of the errors in survey procedure that we made when we did this. Uh, we tied these four monuments that define our two blocks. We tied those out our TNGPS. <coughs> so does anybody want to guess how they fit record? Besides Matt. Not great. Okay. Give me a number. Half a foot. Yeah, we're, what, three-tenths, Matt? We're pushing around three-tenths to half a foot. Three-tenths to half a foot. So now here's the problem that creates for us. I just want you guys to understand. So the mons that we shot, these four mons, missed the record by, let's call it, three-tenths. Yes, Mike? How tall are the buildings around that part of San Francisco? Uh, there you Three, three, stories. three, four stories. Yeah, it's not a great GPS environment. It's just not. Okay, so look. So here's here's the conflict this clock causes for me, and this is part of why we had to abort the mission last time we sat down. If you read Brown's, you know, if you go back to the common law, what's a guy supposed to hold if there's a conflict between the record and the mons? Monument. Hold the monuments. He's supposed to hold the monuments. This is San Francisco, though. Well, what's the problem with me? So I could hold these monuments and throw the block out of record, but why do I have heartburn with that? Because there's a lot of money on no. that block, no? No. What's the problem with... Because you can't guarantee that the shots that were taken are accurate enough. Mm. Yeah! If we tied it like, out... Like, if we tied yeah. it out with a gun, these and monuments... Just the block and hell, we can hold the monuments there's a hold. very strong chance if I ran a traverse around this block that those monuments would fit record. In fact, if I had to put money on it, and I was a bet man, I would bet they probably would. Mm -hmm. So now I'm in a situation where I'm going to do the exact opposite of what the common law says I'm supposed to do because we didn't do a good job when we tied these four monuments out. Does everybody understand that? Why do we use GPS? Because we're lazy and it's quick. Because it's easy. And that wasn't me. That We inherited this project. Okay, but like, it's a fundamental violation of everything a land surveyor is supposed to be, right? We're supposed to be an expert measurement, expert measures. That's what we're supposed to be. That's why they let us do boundaries. They don't let us do boundaries because we're ruggedly handsome. We are ruggedly handsome. That's not why they let us do boundaries. Why do they let us do boundaries? Because we're supposed to be what? Expert measures. Expert measures and epic fail. 
team on this job because we went out and started like the whole freaking boundary is is supposed to be built off these four monuments but they did give us a monument Okay, so let me tell you what Matt and I did with the pile of horse maneuver that we were handed. Okay? Easy. Is this somebody that's to be? I, like, I just tell it like it is, dude. We had somebody that wasn't qualified doing this job and it wasn't done right. Now, that doesn't mean he should be fired. He should be what? Instructed. Talk. Educated, yes. He should be trained. So hopefully he'll watch this video. I'm not going to say who it is, but maybe he'll watch this video on YouTube and understand why oh, I did the wrong thing. <laughs> So, for the record, we are never allowed to use RTN for boundary surveys on my projects, ever. Static or total station. Static or total station. There's only two things we are allowed to use RTN for. And I say this, I preach this to surveyors so I'm blue in the face. You can use it for search for monuments. That's fine. Okay? And you can use it for dirt topo. Okay, those are the two things. Now, I, I'll, I'll give you a third. And I prefer that we don't do this, but I, it, it doesn't keep me awake at night. Like, if you take that out, you're doing a little survey, you take your RTN, RTN out, you set your azimuth pair, but overwrite with your elevations with your gun, I'm okay with it. Like, you want to put your project on state plane, I'm okay with that. What would I rather you do than set an azimuth pair with RTN? I'd rather you just fast out a couple points. But we do not. Like, this is extremely valuable real estate in an urban GPS challenged environment. And what do we do? Put it around GPS. We use GPS to tie the controlling monuments. Like, this is, this is horrible. It's horrible. Okay, so we got to decide what to do. Now, really, at some point, do you know what I need to do here? Go out and survey those points again. Right? I, we're going to run a traverse around that block, probably. Okay, but in the meantime, I got to get this freaking process going, and then, then I have to like go talk to my boss and tell him, yeah, we didn't do this right, and we probably got to go spend. Like, how long is it going to take to go around that block? It's our minutes. It's a day at least. Yeah. Well, because you got to remember, this is down. It's downtown San Francisco. There's freaking people everywhere. That's true. You okay. gotta have you, your guy can't leave the gun because it'll get stolen. It, it's a it's a half a day to a day's worth of work. Probably. They're in they're in the street. Yep, busy street. That's a while. Yeah, you came to the book. Okay, so let me tell you what we did in the meantime. So we got these two monuments that just happen to fit the record within a tenth. Okay, so we basically held this monument here and rotated this monument here, okay? And then I'm holding record, the rest of this we're holding record, and I'm going to explain what, what, I need to get a little more detail, but these mons are off the record by three or four tenths, okay? But I'm not going to warp the block to the monuments, because what do I suspect if I go Travers? The monuments are correct. They'll probably fit record, okay? Now, when I say fit record, let me explain why that's a little bit of a challenge on this job. Matt and, I, Matt and I beat our heads on this for a little bit, and I'm glad I had Matt to help me. That'll look great on the video. Glad I got Matt to help me figure this out. Because this is, was really tricky. Okay, so let me tell you what I think happened out here. Okay, so here's our block. This is our parcel. Okay, and in San Francisco, a lot of parts of San Francisco, they don't set center line on, they set an offset. So they set these. Monument lines. out here, I think it's a two foot difference from center line. So if you have a center line, this difference is about two feet. Okay, okay now that's great. What they normally do is they normally come in and the monument lines are set here. 
the monuments are set on the monument line. Okay. Now, I don't know this for a fact because nobody put it in the record, but here's what I suspect happened. When the city went in and set these mods, or whoever, the, whoever did it for the city, they're city mods, but when they set them, Matt, where did they set them? <laughs> Offset inside the corners off the monument line. Somebody screwed up, and I think what happened is somebody screwed up when they laid the wells out. Mm -hmm. And so these monuments aren't on the monument line, for the record, and they give you these distances to the mods. And they're not even consistent. Now that one that we did hold was on though, and then that one was on the line, but so, it wasn't on the corner. So monuments have an offset really? from their monument line? No. Not usually. No, they should be where the purple purple said, symbols are. But you said that was per the record? Yeah. Per the, yeah per the, the record, record shows yes. that the monuments aren't set on the monument line. I mean, I even... Okay, so look, somebody screwed up. What should have happened is they should have made the contractor go back and rip out the wells and put them in the right spot. But they didn't. So they took a shortcut. And they're varying distances? Yes. Like the money was they're, not even online. No, no. They're, 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 clean off they're, all, they're all over. So how do you get to them online holding the bases of bearing? Good question. So Mike's, Mike's asking the question I want to ask. So let me tell you the only way this works. The only way you can reconstruct the block from these four monuments is if you hold these lines perpendicular. Right. Hold the angle. Okay, if you hold all those at 90, you can build this. If any of those aren't 90, you can't reconstruct these four lines from the monuments. You don't have enough information. Okay? Now, here's the problem. So that's what Matt and I did. We started with this line, and we put everything in per record at 90 degrees. The problem is when you put these two lines in at 90 and hold their record length, and you come down here and you connect the dots, your distance doesn't match the record by four tenths of a foot. So not only are these monuments not set on the monument line, but the math doesn't work. Right? Because look at it, if these are all 90, by definition, these two distances have to be what? Equal. And these two distances have to be. Yeah, same thing. And that, it doesn't work that way. So to get, to get your monument line, you're taking the, the offset from the center line? No, the, the drawing, offset from the monument. You're drawing your monument line and making them off the, your bound data. How do, you, how do you draw your monument line into the monument? It's shown record map. You're drawing it per record and then fitting it to the ones you found? Yes. That's, that's awful. It, it's funky. It took me and Matt three hours to I mean, figure it out. To get to that stage, right? Yeah, there. It, was, it was a headache. Okay, but here's the problem. The only way to reconstruct this is to hold 90s, but if you hold all the 90s, this distance doesn't match by four tenths. But if I try and make this distance match, then I no longer have 90s and I can't relate this to the month. Like, it's a cluster up because somebody else did a crappy job and took a shortcut instead of fixing it. Welcome to, this is real life boundary surveying, boys and girls, right? Okay, and to make things even better, I don't even know if my monument coordinates are within a half a foot. Okay, so here's what we did. We called a couple guys that survey in San Francisco. Matt made a call and I made a call, okay? And was like, man, what do we do here? Okay, now as a general rule in surveying in the Western United States, do you hold angle or distance? Which one do you give priority to? I'll let them answer. Angle, right? No, no. As a general rule, in the order of controlling elements, distance holds over angle. And there's a reason why. What can we measure more accurately as a general rule, distance or angle? Distance. Distance, okay? But this is San Francisco. And everything you get in San, not everything, but a lot of the surveys that you get in San Francisco are all built on the assumption that center lines are at 90. Monument lines and center lines are at 90. So both the guys that Matt and I talked to said, man, let that distance float four tenths. And hold your angle. And hold your angles at 90, which we had to do anyways to relate the line work to the monuments. Okay, so that's what we did. Now, do you think it's important that I write down that conversation that we just had? Because mm -hmm. somebody's going to trust. about That's what we're trying to do. So, Mike, you look like you maybe disagree or have a question. No, I'm just waiting for the next part of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just trying to see where you're going with it. This sucks, dude, because I did this I did the yeah. line. So I, I did it all from offset and the money. Okay, so let's see what we're going to do here. So, Matt, Matt 
that did a good job. Okay, the other problem we got is this guy came in right here and set two monuments. And he set them a foot north of where they were supposed to be. Okay, so if you actually look, if you actually pull the record distance, and so we need to make we need to make a note of this as well. Okay. But if you come over here perpendicular, so I'm gonna just add this, this is my tie layer. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm gonna add these ties in. Well, for the sake of this video, we can change yeah. that color so we can see it. Yeah. Thanks. You can't see that in mine? Yeah. It's hard to, it's hard to see that. That's Mike over there. No, I was talking to him, obviously. You can't see. Where did I come up? It's the color map, Mike. Okay. Okay. So, if you measure this distance on the record map, record is 179, not 180. And the record to this one is also a foot. He, these are off slid. They're exactly one, exactly one foot off a record. Mike's like, hmm, I'm going to let you double check, Mike, but I'm pretty sure they're exactly one foot off a record. Okay? So, I just don't get how you accidentally set them one foot. Oh. With as much stuff as we screw up, you don't understand how that could happen? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, it could be because this is an odd distance. Cut that out of YouTube. Yeah, it could be because this is 179 and not 180. I think I, I, I remember looking at the maps and I found out why. Uh, somebody go grab the binder and we'll look at it. We'll find out why. Because I want to tell... Uh, on the shelf? Yeah, it should be on the shelf. It's 190177. Grab the binder and we'll, we'll find out. Okay, so... I still understand What? What? Don't understand what part. Julian? <laughs> Who's that's, teaching? Man, I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's allowed to teach. All I've done is boundary for the last three years. I'll just play this mountain, so this is. Oh, it's a player, man. No, that's cool. Come sit over here, Mike. Let's look at it together. That's super good. Because maybe I'm wrong. But I think I figured out why he, why he dorked this up. So we got to move on and come look at the maps. Okay, here's Sheridan, and here's what he said he set. Where are we? This is Sheridan right here. This is Sheridan. Okay, so it has to do with this dimension right here. So this is 5371. Look at this, Sheridan. Right. It's seismic. 
I think you can laugh on those would mean something else. 5371, there's a different yeah. width here. Yeah. So what happened? Yeah. Do they do a compacted down or something? No, not sometimes. So you have stance all right? Folsom. And oh, I see. The city Folsom. filled up to the edge of it. Sheridan. And some enterprising people found out that there was a law that said if land is essentially created, you can have it. So they started dumping all their trash out. And over the years, um, that happened for a while, you know, and it all built up, and it's just people throwing their trash out there. And then I saw. The yeah, I'll have to look. Mm -hmm. We might be missing that, Mike. It's it's not that the dis the record distance is wrong. It's where you measure it on the second line. The entire line. So if you look up like a little trash with this map, and that whole marina district is liquid. And then you put, again, that's in a seismic area. Things move. Yep. All right, yeah. and what the dig through the map. Super scary. You got to be a crazy ass mm -hmm. engineer freaking. All right, let's assume for now those, that I'm wrong and those maps are, those mobs are online. Why do you think they're sending so many times that it's here? Crazy, dude. Okay, so let's go ahead and. Uh, Annotate this the way we want. Okay, so the very first thing we should start with is every resolve boundary drawing. The first thing that I want you guys to start with is Hunter, do me a favor, point the camera back at the TV. Um, I want you guys to start with the found monuments that we used as the basis of the resolution. If we don't have found monuments, we should have what? Some occupation. Yeah. Like, I should be splitting curves, yeah, curves would be your or exit. holding a fence, maybe, if we're rural, yep. okay? But in the city, we should be curbs or buildings. Also look for cisterns if you're rural. Shoot the, where the paint stops on the But you got to have something. we got to have something we measure in the dirt, right? So start with that. Hopefully it's monuments. Okay, now, what's the problem with this right here? We can't hold the monuments. We did hold these two. What's the problem with that? What's the problem with what we have in the drawing right now? Imagine you're in LS and you got to come in now and I die in a bus crash. A bus runs me over tomorrow and Hunter's licensed and he's got to come in next week and sign this. And he tells Will, before I sign Landon's crappy survey where he didn't tie the monuments right, I need to see what he did. So, because you got to remember, this is what I inherited. I came into this drawing and, uh, and I'm responsible for it. And so I want to know what we did. What's the problem with what I got on the screen there? Well, 225. No, what is it? Yeah, what kind of a monument? Surveyors are supposed to what? What's the monument type? Uh, Evaluate what? Like in, how is it? What's the term they use? Evaluate evidence. Yeah. Oh. Can I evaluate evidence with this? No. Because what type of monuments control? I don't know. Found original. Oh. Can I tell if this is a found original monument? No. Can I even tell if it's a legit retracement monument? No, what do I know? That it's a monument. I, we found something. Looks like a monument. Took a shot away. Okay, so Matt, let's pick on Matt. Matt, do you know what this is? I don't. All right, so let's go see if we can figure that out. Yep. All right. Because this is step one of putting together a resolved boundary drawing, right? So do we not have photos of it or anything? I don't know. I don't, I don't know what we have because I don't remember. 
because you can make the assumption on the record that it's a city monument or a center line monument or something like that, but what if someone came behind that and it's an offset to a building to a parcel? Or it's a pipe driven through the AC as a... Listen, if I'm going to hold that monument, what should I know about it? What it is. What it is what and is it? what record established it, right? Yeah. Okay. Gotta know your history. Okay, GPS, Traverse, Control. We got some field notes. How do I ro ro rotate it? Rotate it, yeah. Did you put the shift control? Minus. Okay, this was in July, so this is before I got involved. Down the crow's foot, I'm not sure. Set, that's a set. Okay, so he, here he ties an L in the property corner. Okay, which I know is that on that thing on Sheridan. Uh, yeah, which I'm pretty sure that's not a centerline monument, right? So that's not it. That's a set. All right, so does he tell me in his notes what? Nope. No, so it's not in here. Now let's not execute anybody yet. Let's go look at this. This is why it's good for Hunter to be in here. Okay. Nothing there. That's it, that's all I got that day. He must not have done that very much that day because we sure didn't get very much. Okay, there's no notes in here. Okay, but I got some photos. This is Colby. This is after they already went out. So what's the problem I got, guys? You don't know what it is. Still don't know what it is. I don't know. I, I have no idea what this is. All that works now let's that. just let's just go see. Maybe we got a photo. So it's not in the notes. Maybe it's in the photos. Because I'm not trying to be a jerk, right? I am trying to do a job. Yeah, there's no photos. Is there photos in the field? That's no. Okay. So there ain't there. I don't, what do I do? Go out and do the work again. Yeah, yeah. Like somebody's gonna have to go pop lids, probably. Okay. So for now, we're gonna freaking assume that we found what's on the record. Okay. Do I like doing that? Nope. No. No. I don't. I'd rather know for sure what we found. So let's see if we can figure out this map right here, the city map. It says Okay, so I've got a city map, monument map that shows the set mons but has no description. If it's a city map with a model line, then they're considered city monuments. Yeah, I'm just but, curious, like, does anybody tell me what they are? Everybody just says City Monument. Sweet. All right. Found City Monument. Mike, if I sent you out to look for a found City Monument, what would you look for? I mean, I'd assume it's a brass disc. I don't know if it's been in the city before, but... Uh, yeah. It so, could it, could be uh, it could be a pin monument, it could be a disc monument. It could be a crow at San Francisco, it's so depending on how old it is. Well. So, well, here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. Food. It could be a V on a house. And we're going to say, oh, that's, that's what a V on a house monument looks like. There's a corner. We're going to say, uh, found uh, city uh, monument. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I guess I don't need to see, I don't need to say found twice. So, Matt's going to keep a punch list for us, for favor. Matt, mm -hmm. we need to confirm character of centerline monuments. Give me a jackhammer. Never been able to use them. 
Because the mountains, the trees block them. Okay, then the, the two Whatever. the two monuments we found on Sheridan, he did have in the notes. Those are cut L's. Okay, but let's take a look here. This guy calls them not a record. This guy says he reset a nail and a tag. What date was this map? This was 2003. This guy says this is March 2003. These both these guys are 2003. So what do you do? You just hold the. This guy says he found L's in March. This guy in October says he set nails. We found L's. What does that probably mean? The guy never set nails. The guy probably never set nails. Or he set them in the wrong spot. So we found cut L's. These aren't as critical because I'm not going to hold them. Uh, we are going to use them to check our solution, but okay. So let's change this style real quick. Uh, where's my tool space? You can't even run static GPS out there because the angle of the small trees. So it's just so we would have to hike everything for the whole traverse. Like when you need the truck, you gotta have everything with you. But it was like an education and a half. <laughs> Learning about like you know, railroads. Because a lot of the lots in the Santa Cruz Mountains are built off old rail camps. The old Chinese camps and stuff like that. So like for example, we did one boundary. And that was using uh, concentric circles, concentric curves for the railroad. And when we finally got through all the math on that, the neighbor lost 40 feet of their property, oh, including their septic tank and stuff like that. That's just, it, it, yeah. But okay, we have to turn the gun. Okay, so that's what we got, guys. Total, we got six found moms. Two of them don't match the record character because somebody probably forgot to set them. Okay, but I think. These are in the right spot. So 642 and 646. This guy shows 675. This guy shows 674. So three tenths, we're still pushing around. Still pushing around three tenths there. Now these were shot with a gun, right? But what's the distance between them? Well, we're still not matching the record, but 40 feet. Yeah. So so what this tells me is there is some argument for either sliding the whole block over three tenths or making this block three tenths longer, three tenths wider, right? You guys understand how if I move this line right here, this direction, three tenths, these get closer to record, right? Okay, but if I do that, this length is now longer than record, right? Now here's what I... What I am curious about, and we're going to look at this, we shot the buildings. If I turn on the buildings and my buildings are three tenths over this right of way line, what does that tell me? That our line works not in the right place. Our line works not in the right spot, right? Yeah. Can I still mic for a sec? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we basically done all we could with the monuments, right? Okay, now what I want to do over here, we're just going to start some text so we remember some notes. So I'm just going to say note one for now. Okay, city center line monuments shot with RTN GPS. Need to confirm coordinates. Also need to confirm location of, sorry, character, city monuments. And then note two, I'm going to say found monuments on Sheridan, Sheridan Street don't match the latest record character shown on I'm looking for the name of this we 
should have a recording statement on here. Is it like sheet two or something? It is sheet two or something. Yeah, so we need to find out which one that is. So let's just let's put map X for a second and see if we can go figure out what it is. <coughs> So if you're coming behind me, do you want to know that these don't match record? Yeah. Yeah, we're also going to put on here. Calculated distance from Mons to right away is 0 0.3 feet shorter than record. So we're starting to build our notes here as we go. Now, the next thing we want to indicate is that we held these 90 degree record angles, okay? And that we held this record distance. So I'm going to tell you how we're going to do that. We're going to come in here and get our lines. Line label dialog up. Okay, BKF bearing distance level one is what I want. So I'm going to say add, okay? Okay, I actually like it to be centered if I can. So we'll say multiple segment. We'll add some crow's feet. Okay, now this doesn't tell me enough yet, so here's how it's gonna, we're going to make it mean something. We're going to come in here and we're going to edit this text, and we're going to say R Okay, and I'm holding We're going to hold we're going to hold this map right here. So, and it doesn't even have an R. This is uh so we're going to put R1 in here for now. Actually, I like the best indeed to be R1, so we're going to say R2. Okay. Is that for reference or record? Record 2, yeah, or reference 2. So now you know that I held that distance. Okay. But as soon as I do this, what do I need to start building? What does R2 mean? Uh, means your record. So you need to start making a record. Yeah, so we're just going to copy this for now. We're not; these notes aren't going to stay in here, right? But we got to. This is we're just keeping our notes as we go, right? At some point, Matt or Julian or Elena will go in and put these on the actual paper space sheets. So we're going to say references R two is city monument map. Okay, and we'll try and figure out if that's got a friggin' sheet name or sheet number, map name or number. Okay, so now I just like to throw a little note in here for myself. So that's helpful, but we're going to say, so we're going to run a multi leader. Okay, and we're going to come down here. And I'm going to say held the position okay I'm holding that position of that monument why did you hold that one because that was the closest to being it's the closest to our property yeah and we could have hold the one on the other end too they're only a tenth apart or we could split the difference we could put five and five on the record map this one shows on the corner too it's the only one that does that's not what I want. Mm -hmm. Might as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is this like a... Oh, that's pretty cool. Alright. What do I want to do here? I want to fix the friggin' font. 
Okay, so what I end up doing here is I end up I guess it doesn't really matter, but here's what I'm going to do on this. I'm going to put M1 because this is what I will end up showing. Okay, and actually, it's a little bit easier if you just keep it the same as the point number. Okay, held the position of this found monument. I'm going to copy that real quick. Oh, somehow I changed my arrow head, I guess. Okay, what do we need to note on this one? How do we use it? Help for line. Help for line. Help for line. So we're going to say, you got to remember, these, these notes are for us internally, right? So we can, we can like be brutally honest here. Okay, so we're going to say, of the position of this foul monument for line. And then I'm just going to add a note, distance between found monuments matched record within 0 0.10, 0 0.1 feet. So if I'm using R RTN, that means what? Measured matched record, right? If I found it within a tenth with RTN measured match, we found record. Does everybody understand why? I might as well move this monument to the record position because I've got a three tenth of a. I'm out there serving with a softball on the end of my rod, right? Does that make sense, Mike? All right, so let's drag these down here. Okay. So what do we want to say on this one? What do you guys think? Anybody want to guess? What would you want to leave behind for somebody? about this monument? Uh, it's album, it's, it doesn't line up. Not not and then we show its position off. Monument not held. What do we want to say about this guy down here, which we accidentally deleted? <laughs> You got a mouse in your pocket? I'm going to blame Matt, but actually it was, it was me. It wasn't Matt, it was me. So, so we're going to say the same thing there when we get that monument in. that mistake, Matt. Okay, so I'm going to just add another little note here to this. Okay, so uh, this particular line has a special function in our survey. What is that? Yeah, so I'm going to say right here. This is the bearing of the, the line between two monuments. L1 is the basis of bearings for this survey. Okay, this is a note for us. Okay, and then one other thing I want to add here, I'm going to edit the label text. Will Paul hates this, but he said I'm allowed to do it in my drawings. Every line gets a what? Label tag. Gets a tag. Okay, so that's L1. Now look, as soon as I did that, what happened? Your other ones got crap label tags too. Yeah, it pushed, it pushed in over here. So we got to edit that style a little bit. Uh, so we want to grab the bearing and the X offset. I think it's got to go up. Okay. Nicely done. 
All right, so now you got to remember we got to be thinking about our order of resolution here too, right? In fact, what I would do is I would copy this up. These are just kind of miscellaneous notes for us, right? Mm -hmm. So what am I going to say right here? Somebody tell me when it gets to be 255 because we need to go out for the field crew meeting. Order of boundary resolution. Okay, so what's the very first thing we did? Held the line between M1001 and M1003, I think. We gotta double check those numbers as the basis of bearing for this survey. Okay. So we started. Now I oh Hunter was right. One thousand one and no, no. one thousand three. We're good. Okay. It's okay, I thought the other one was one thousand. So you can kind of when when's the ideal time to do these notes? As you're doing. Yeah, now I gotta try and freaking remember what Matt and I did. But we started basically by drawing this line. Mm -hmm. Okay? Now Matt can tell you what's the next thing we did, Matt. The next thing we did is we checked all the distances to the monuments. Okay, yeah, but what do we draw? Pretend we only have this line in the drawing. What do we draw next? The offsets to the partial lines. Nope, because we only got one line. Oh, uh, we got to draw side lines. Yes, Sorry. so that's the next thing we do. So we're going to come up here, we're going to say, now, here's what I like to do. Copy this multi-leader here. Okay, and we're going to come over here. We're going to pull this around. I'm going to point at Matt's dimension here. Uh, so you held the 90s? Record angle. Okay. Okay, and I do the same thing here as I do with my lines and my monuments. So everything gets a tag. So what do you think I'm going to call this? A1. A1. I'm going to say, held the record angle from the city monument map. So would okay. you call in your conversation yeah. on this too? Or? Yeah, so hang on, I'm going to drop down here and say, I'm just going to adjust this dimension a little bit. We're going to change this to degrees, minutes, seconds, and I want to show it. Oh. Not quite 90. Nice going, man. So probably it's pretty freaking close, people. It's three seconds. Um, I'm not going to change that yet because I think we're all right. So what I do want to put up here, though, and, um, we're going to put right here just to remind ourselves. What did I just do? Oh. I appreciate you guys being patient with me. How about a little white space, huh? So we're just going to add that little note that Hunter talked about. We're going to say all angle, all lines held perpendicular say this results in uh, small discrepancies between measured and calculated distances. Does that make sense to everybody? I got a two R's and not two L's. Okay. All right. So the next order of boundary resolution, I'm going to say L2 was, so here's what I like to do, I like to split it up. The direction of L2 was held perpendicular to L1. Now you see why I start tagging lines, right? Okay, and 
I'm going to say, that, so you need to know two things about every line, the direction and the distance, right? The distance was held at, at? Record. Record, the record per, that did not work out the way I want it, per the city monument map. 255, yeah. So you guys literally drew a line? Record distance based on that. And then hit it perpendicular, then okay. decrease its size to match record? Okay, now. While we're talking about it, we got to go. That's why Mike's standing up. We might as well do the note for L3, because guess what? Same thing. It's the same note. Direction. Direction. Error. <laughs> okay, so we'll probably finish this up tomorrow, huh? Right. Yep. Okay, unless we have a really short field crew meeting, and then we'll run right back in here. What is their dry utility request? Um, so I wonder why that, uh, wonder what, was, <laughs> what ends up happening with a lot of that stuff is you'll have monuments on the corners mm -hmm. that then get blown out when the ADA work comes through. Right, and they don't right. uh, they'll have cut X's or cut L's or you know, the property corners. This is like when they put on the exam. Yeah, because it's not like fine too much. Cards for tomorrow. Oh, what's tomorrow? Setting piles. Oh. But if I bill at five dollars a minute, and I'm <laughs> starting a little early. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. So Probably we're just gonna. Feeling guilty now. Right? Yeah. That was the point. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and finish this up. Okay. So we held these record angles. So we're just gonna copy this note over. I was here for that. Okay. Please. Yep, that's right. So as we're continuing forward with it, we also found that there's no pictures of the monuments or a written description of the monuments. So all we could do is reference from the map, we just which know is that negative. Yeah. So. And that they're in the 90s, right? Yeah, we're gonna we're, we're gonna end up going back probably. What is up with that leader blade? something Matt. I don't know what happened. Let's uh redraw these real quick. Can you, uh, Hunter, hand, hand map that binder and he's going to grab that distance for me off of one of these lines. The 
almost missed it. All right. So on the line you're on now, the distance is 1265. Okay. Hang on one second. Yep. Let's see. Okay, so we got twelve sixty five, Matt. Yep. Even. Even. Okay, and then I should be able to just copy this line down. Correct. Okay, and is it the same distance? Correct. South. Yeah. Essentially, what you do is you drill a hole. You get a stack from like this. You drill a hole through the center of it, and then you stick a 60 day nail in there. So I'm going to stick down. Okay, now we may have a difference down here at this end. So, Matt, what's your record length on this? 494.25. Okay, so we got a slight difference. What are you holding? We got 494.09. Okay, so when we hold all the angles 90, and hold these two record lengths, there's about a tenth and a half difference down here. Which would make sense if the monument was actually where it shows in yeah, the monument that we're holding on the south, yeah. in deference to where it actually sits. Okay. We're holding it on, yeah. and it's two tenths equal. It's 0.24.23 off of that line. So we didn't hold this on the mon, right? We moved it to the yeah, offset. We, oh, we did, okay. Yeah. We, we hit the offset that time. Yeah, sorry. so we're okay. Here. So this is just his math doesn't yeah. work, and that's all right, because that's an old map. You yeah. know, if they were within a tenth and whatever that is. They were good, yeah. Um, they are probably okay. 92. Oh, no, no, I'm talking about the original city mon. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That came. That's old, right? Yeah. Okay, 1979, so, it's as old as I am. Yeah, so, you know, if you were a tenth in 1979, you were pretty good, probably. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and label these lines okay. so that we understand what we're doing here on these outside lines. So everybody understands we're building from the outside in, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm sorry, guys. Lines. So this guy right here, I don't like that. I like to do it so I like multiple signals. Am I losing my mind? Oh, he's putting stacking crow's feet on there. Let me just go add my crow's feet real quick. So we need to edit this label to indicate what we did. So how, what are we going to change on this? The measured and record. Yeah, so it's going to be C and 
R2 is going to be that map, right? Yep. So what does that tell the guy coming behind me? That it's calculated and held to the record. I held the record length, right? Okay, and we're going to do the same thing up here. We're going to tag this. Okay, we're going to click on it and edit. And we're going to say we held the record length on that map, R2. You're going to start numbering your lines too, right? Yep, I am. Thank you. So let's call this L3. Good catch, Mr. Setson. Oh man, I don't like that. I remember because the first time I saw one of your maps, that stressed me the hell out. L1. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'll have to go in and fix these label guys. Uh, I gotta fix this, but for now we're just gonna make, we're gonna leave it the way it is. All the lines number. Oh my god. So Landon, that's gonna that's gonna put it on that distance text. Yeah, no, that's alright. Oh, oh, yeah, that's alright. That's what I want. Nope, that's not what I want. Not in the front, right? Yeah, you're right. right. Now this one's going to be a little bit different because we have the difference here, right? So let's tag it. And then I want you guys to tell me what we're going to write on here. So what do we need to say on this one? you got to say what record you're holding. Oh, no, but you're not holding a record. We're not holding a record, so we got to put the record in, right? What is it, Matt? It is 494.25. Okay, R2. Yep. And then you've got to put an N behind the calculator because we measured it at 494. So C and then M, right? Mm -hmm. uh, well, there's no mods there, really, because we're holding the... Oh, and we're only going to do an N when we're between yeah. monuments. Yep. Yeah, because it's just a monument line. Oh. That's so bizarre. Like, yeah, I got to... Can't even call it a monument line. i got to fix, fix these label styles. I'll come in and fix this is booked up. I have to fix it, which means it needs to get fixed in our template. Okay. All right, so does everybody understand? Well, let's just, to make sure that we're really clear, let's just add a note here. Okay, so I'm going to just grab this, and we're going to say... So you can kind of infer this from the notes. It's kind of implied in the, in the line labels. I'm sorry, but we're going to add a note and be... We're going to be explicit. Okay, so we're going to say uh, direction and distance of L4 calculated by a straight line. And your your note doesn't have to necessarily be exactly the same as mine. Straight line inverse between uh, what is that? Northwesterly. Mm -hmm. Northwesterly ends of L2 and L3. Okay, so Matt should be able to read that note, at least Matt, figure out what I did, right? Yep. Okay. Which come in behind you, that's the key. And we can say this calculation results in a whatever it was, 15 foot difference. So I got a question for you. Hey, yeah, see when I hold those straight line, my angles off a little bit, right? Yeah. So, I but, yep. Question for you. So you're supposed to hold the distances. If you find the monuments, the record holds, right? Theoretically. But since this, the monument lines aren't actually where the monuments are. Do you hold your measured? So let's say we measured it with the total station and we got what we did still. Right? Yeah, I would probably hold measured. If it was, well, depends. If it was close to record, I'd just hold record. But Matt, what's the distance on this? 494.26? 25. So, it, so, and it's, so why are we getting something different? Because you're holding the angle. 
I'm willing to bet they couldn't measure the angle to a perfect 90 then. Something along those lines. But you're holding. So if I held 25, this these angles would change. Yep. But these angles aren't 90 right now. I don't, I don't necessarily love this either. So the problem is, if I try and friggin' hold that angle at 90, how far is this off? That's off a half a minute. That's insane. Let's just try something real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh. A minute, not a second. Half a degree or a minute? No, half a minute. Still, half a minute is. Especially when you're talking four or five hundred feet. It's not as small. And those are a thousand and, feet. And our record distance is four ninety four point two five. Matt, what are they using like a Piatolite? Probably. Or a T sixteen. <laughs> Transit in a book yeah. back then would have been common. Well, it was 79, right? They might have been using the Theatolite, but you got to think a lot of people didn't pay for that kind of stuff back then. Okay, why am I so far off? Oh. I was going to say the Theatolite, you'll notice 30 seconds. Yeah, but if they were doing it with the T16 in a book, you might not. Mm. All right, yeah. So. This just doesn't close, guys, right? So to hold the angles at the perfect 90, there's a misclosure there. What's your distance to the Mon there from that Easter line now? Yeah, hang on, man. Let me just see. Sorry. That's all right. So I'm not surprised, given the age of that city monument map. Mm -hmm. um, so I can't do both here, folks. I, I can't hold the angles and hold the record distance. Yeah. So you know what I'm going to do? Uh, oh, you're supposed distance? to hold the distance, but in SF you're supposed to hold the angles, right? Yeah. So guess what I'm going to do? Hold the angles. I'm going to fillet this. means this is no longer going to be record print mm -hmm. so that's a little short so we gotta edit this and I was wrong about the era this was set in 1934 okay so yeah that's May 22nd, 19th, so what do we got Matt 1265 even correct okay so I like this a little better I'm going to show this one off. I'll fix this label style. And, okay, and we're going to show. So now we're holding the 90s. Yep. Okay, and we had to, to do that, we had to let both these distances flex. Okay, does everybody understand we're moving these lines around on the, the corners are moving around on the head of a quarter? Mm hmm. So, like, it it's almost doesn't matter. But by legality, it does matter. Well, you know, we want to, we want to at least have a solution that we can explain. So we go survey again. Okay. So let's throw these back in here. Yeah, we're slow all the way. We're slow on the way. All right. Okay. So I think he just wants an excuse to go to San Francisco dressed like a girl. All right. Okay. So I'm gonna. Add a note here since we changed this a little bit. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull this note over here. And we're going to say. line and 
L4. I held the two bearings and held the intersection. That's called the bearing bearing intersection. Okay. Cool. This resulted in a calculated length for this line 0 0.8 hundreds short. Oh. Okay. Now you don't have to guess, you know exactly what we did. Okay? Alright. So we're gonna rebuild these lines now real quick. Yep. Okay, so Matt is gonna read me some off. Oh, hold on, let's come over here. We gotta update these notes. This is really important. So order resolution. Direction of L2, the distance was held. Okay, so that's not true anymore. So what I want to say is I'm gonna change this. So we held L3. And then L2, we also held perpendicular, but the distance was not, right? The distance was determined by the bearing, bearing L2 and L4. All right, so these three lines, one, two, three, give us the outside box. Okay? Alright, so now we're going to do our offsets. So Matt, give me our offsets around our small okay, block. From Harrison Street to the north, you're going to offset 53.33. Going to the westerly line, you're going to offset 54.08. Going from the easterly line, the offset is 30.17. Okay, hang on. The up here? Yep. Okay. And total width of that block yep. is 195 to the north. Yep, there's your block. Okay, then we're just going to fillet our corners. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So now I'm going to do the same across, thing here. That distance, okay, you can erase all those. Yeah, I'll get rid of these. Okay, let's start with the distance going across Sheridan Street. Yep. It's 35 feet. Okay. And then the only other thing I have is at the north end on yep. Howard, your distance is 29.17 back to the north end of that block. Okay, and then these offsets should be the same, right? Yep, correct. So, Matt, give me the south one again. The south one is 54.08. Okay, and the north one? Uh, 30.17. Okay, then we'll fillet these. I gotta go through and make sure we have all the maps, but all right. Okay, so we've got our interior block lines now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then these probably changed slightly, so I'm just gonna go in and redraw them. This gets straight lined. These go perpendicular. This is just tying our block back out to the outside lines. It looks to me like this has a. Okay, so what's going on here? Those, do those look perpendicular? The top one does. 
Just make sure we don't have a Z. Yeah, we don't. They just look funny to me. All right. They're different lengths, huh? No, I think they're okay. They are, They better be the same. Watch, go back. They're the same, Julian, because we just did an offset. I hope. No, I did. I seen very. 5408. I seen very. 5408. They're all right. All right. There's to check, though. Doesn't have his pepto out here or his stomach. Okay. We're almost done, so I'll fall asleep. No, oh, this is interesting, man. This why is the boundary. Trying not to. Alright. This is why I got into survey. As cheeky as that sounds. Okay, so now we're gonna add a note, and this is gonna be really easy. Okay, so up here we're going to say I'm going to say block boundaries were created by holding record offsets of street right away widths from R2. So one note gives us all those lines. Okay, doesn't usually work out that way, but all right. Now, as a check, we can say, does this line match record? Right? Because we calculated it. So, Matt, what's your record? Sorry, it's okay. Let me go around back. Um, which line are you talking about, Harrison? The Harrison uh, any either of those lines. Okay, the Harrison monument line is four ninety four two five. Okay, no, yeah. So this one. one this we gotta pull off the assessor plot probably. Yep. I actually have another one here. That's the I'm guessing it's four ten. Yeah. Are you sure it's not four oh nine point eight four? Um the assessors are so good at that. Yeah. I just love it when they don't give. So what this is, guys, this is that 1500 showing back up, right? Mm -hmm. In the outside line, now we're seeing it in the individual lines. All right, Matt can look for that. So we'll check those, okay? Now this is the really important part. So now we have to put in our parcel, okay? So you gotta go read that deed, which I did. Okay, and if you read the deed, it's basically a square that's 80 by 95, okay? So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to offset this 95. I'm going to offset this 80. And I'm going to fillet it. Why are you laughing? Fillet. Oh, did I say it wrong? No, well, we fill it. Yeah. No, I say it. I say it fillet like a steak. Like a yeah. Like a steak. Like a fish fillet. <laughs> okay. Who's so your wife? Now we need to put a note in here that explains how we came up with these four lines, right? So we're gonna say Lines of the subject parcel were created by using record offsets from R1, which is the vesting deed of the block boundaries. Okay. Wouldn't it be of like the uh, calc block boundaries or something? Well, that's kind of implicit in the way that you go, but yeah, you consider that. Okay. All right, now, there's a couple a couple quick issues. Technically, my block is 1,500 short. So there's some guys that would say you need to proportion that 1,500s in. Mm -hmm. I think 1,500s is small enough that I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to say, eh, it's measurement error. Okay. 
But what we want to do is we want to say, we want to look at some buildings now on our edges, right? And see, you know, how do the buildings fit this block that we've come up with? Okay, so let's do that. And I have a drawing to help us do that. So does everybody understand we're done now? Mm -hmm. Okay, now we're just checking stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, but let's, since we're done, let's go ahead and put a note in here. We say it in the resolution notes, but it, it doesn't hurt to just drop a note I in here. Is that. And say... What's your distance of, sorry. It was 410, Matt. Yep. You that was it. Accessor, yeah. Yeah. I had to add up all the individual blocks. Yep. So, yep. So you hit 410 on the bottom. Um, 195. Yeah, and that'll match, but yep. we're going to be, we're good. so we're a little short on the top because of the closure error and the parent map. That's fine. Okay, so I need to add bearings and distance labels to all this, but I'm going to do that once I fix the style, okay? Uh, and I'll let you guys, I'll send you a PDF of this when it's all done. So you see what it looks like. Yeah. So um, you're putting all these labels and you put these monument blocks and stuff like that in the yeah. resolve boundary. Um, yeah, this is going to be the base. So what I'll end up doing is I'll end up moving these labels over to the sheet drawing. Okay. Yeah, and we're just going to have line work in the base because that's how we decided we want to do it. Good question. 10-4. All right, so let's go ahead and, and see how our buildings look. Okay, so I've got a drawing that we can use to do that. And I just called it topo for boundary because we didn't do a full site topo on this. Okay. Oh, man. Okay, and I went ahead and set this up. I layered it by hand because we didn't shoot it right. Okay, so, you know, we got to kind of do some guessing here, but, you know, so I'm going to go in and draw some poly lines. Let's see if we got a building layer I can put this on. I don't see a building layer. Oh, a few building wall, there you go. Okay, so I'm just going to draw some 2D poly lines. Obviously, it'd be nice if I had an aerial photo, which I don't. Got a geolocation? Uh, no, because we're on this stupid city of San Francisco datum. Mm. So I'm gonna just like oh, guess it. I'm gonna guess at some of these building lines, and then we'll 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 see how how they look. Google Maps, dude. Yeah. And I already know I got problems Google down here. Do you know why this up Because they're SF. It's just like the order of resolution, like when we were talking about monuments come first. Um, <laughs> angles come third. <laughs> and we're holding the angles because yeah. it's San Francisco. And that's really all you need to keep in your head sometimes. Things are just, San Francisco's weird. All right, so we're just trying to get a rough idea here. Where the houses come together, the paint that there's, there changes from one color if I shoot that. Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm going to just grab these and we're going to go throw them in and see how we look. Okay, so I hope that's wrong. So what happened there on that line? Yeah, so that's not a building line, obviously. So, hmm. Yeah, we're going to have to go look at that one. Okay, but how do I feel about that? Not good. Eh, I mean, it's not over our, I think the building's over here. Okay. So I think we're okay. Oh, got you. You yeah. know, building to the north. Eh, it's a little over. It's the same width over the our parcel is. Maybe? The problem is it's the wrong direction, I think. Just give up. 
Yeah, so that one's two tenths over. Yeah, three tenths. Let's go look at this. Yeah, you know. This is I don't this I like, right? That's okay. This is a little over. Now here's the problem we got. This is, I'm really not going to like this right here, and I'll tell you why in a minute. That's a half a foot, that's a three tenths, and you remember we found those mons? Yep. And it looks to me like, remember this <coughs> is supposed to be 670? Yep. So if I move this three tenths over, guess what? All those start to fit. This building's in, and that's a lot closer. So I might make my block long, I don't know. This building is pretty close to being on. I wonder if this is three tenths. Guess what? Three tenths. That block's gotta move. Mm-hmm. So we can just slide the whole block. Now, the, here's the problem. I didn't shoot buildings down here, right? Mm -hmm. I either slide this whole thing three tenths or this gets cut three tenths. So, man, it sure would be nice to have some buildings over here, wouldn't it? Well, even just some reflectorless corners. So, here's what I think I'm going to do for now. Now, like, why do we shoot building corners anytime we're doing a boundary in San Francisco? occupation is important. Would I know that I need to slide this? All I know is that these two mons were off. You would have no clue if we had not right. after everything we've done. But I, when I look at these buildings, like, man, everything's shifted three tenths. That means it's not shifted. What's shifted? Our survey. I'm shifted three tenths. Now, here's what makes me nervous. Three tenths is also roughly what? Uh, what you kick around with? Uh, RTM. Yeah. Yeah. Crap. So, be a loop. odds are we have to go back out and shoot this with a gun, right? Well, here's what I'm trying to do right now. I'm like, Adriana's going to be ticked because we're going to move her lines again. Okay, what I think I need to do right now is this. I'm going to draw me a circle three tenths. Okay, and I'm going to take these lines. You can make them all fuzzy or something? No. Okay, and we're going to slide them. We ready? I'm going to slide them up three is it, tenths. Is that legal? Well, I just did it. <laughs> right. Now, this is important because it just, well, now we got to go back and change our notes because right now our notes lie. And I don't even know what to say yet. So we got. I got to think about that. Okay. Now look at these buildings. Yeah. And if we up, if we update these, where should that be? It's six point seven. Yeah. Hang on. Don't need to mess with my head. Now, Oops. guess what? Six point seven five. Mons hit record. And guess what? The mons. These two mons and the buildings were shot with what? Toll station. Yeah. Yep. Now what I gotta decide see if this makes sense, guys. So right now I shorted the block. Okay. I don't know if that's the right decision or the wrong decision. I might have to shoot some building corners. You're going to have to shoot some building corners. Okay. But here's what we got to decide on the other end. This width no longer matches record. It's longer. Mm -hmm. So I either pull this line in, three tenths, 
or I make the street wider than it really is. So, my good stupid question then. Mm -hmm. But what's to stop you just from sliding the whole freaking block up 0.3? Well, I could. I could do that. And I think I'm going to. So what I'm going to do here... Because oh. right now you're still holding monuments that are yeah, probably... The problem is I just don't have good freaking measurement data. Yeah. So I'm going to move these two long lines. up that same three tenths. So does everybody understand now? Hang on. I didn't, did I move this one? Matt, what's this uh what's this record width up here? I don't think I moved this one. Fifty three sorry, twenty nine point one seven. You did move it. I didn't move this line. Which would make sense because you had four seven. Okay, so now I basically did what Hunter said. I slid my whole block three tenths, right? <laughs> The problem is what that means is, did I hold this monument for line? Like we said, what monument did I hold for line? The two little ones in the middle? Yeah. yeah it's gosh, it's only 40 is, foot wide by a thousand yeah, feet. Yeah, this is dorked up. I, it's almost like, uh, how do we come up with this angle? Crap. Well, hang, so, on, hang on a sec, Hunter. Let me just think for a minute. I did hold it for line. I held it for line. Everybody understands everything's built off this line perpendicular, right? So we did hold it for, I hold those two mods <laughs> for line. What I didn't do, yeah, so here's what we're going to say. Is this going to hold them for what, for location <coughs> essentially? 1034, so here's what we're going to say. we got to come over here and change this note. So we we'll held the line between M and, and K. That's still true, right? Mm -hmm. Held the line between M1 and M1003, which is L1, I'm going to put in parentheses, as the basis of bearing for this survey. All lines were held parallel or perpendicular to L1. Then we're going to say L1 <coughs> was shifted 0 0.3 feet north westerly along the bearing of L2 to fit building lines and M134. And 133. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Can you explain those two monuments, Lennon? You said those aren't building monuments? No, these are just corners somebody set to Survey this lot right here. There's none right here. <coughs> they did it as so they're offsets to the property corners. From these corners here, because they're, they're that building is on that lot and it fills the whole lot on a zero lot line. So there's no way to set them on the actual corners. So they offset them six point seven five and six point seven five. Didn't have the block data angles for those. <coughs> have those two found monuments in the center there. Would you have held those monuments, or would you? Probably have not. I probably would have called them out. But since it seems like all of our buildings are doing them. Here's something else you're going to take into account. Those buildings back up the mods, dude. <coughs> and this has me a little weirded out. It's strange. 
So this is the map holding those two monuments. Mm -hmm. This is the map we held for the monument line. So we had 54.08 mm -hmm. as our offset distance from that monument line. We've got 53.75, and then they measured here at the corner with a tie of 53.71. That's a 400s difference going off of yeah. the angle. So that's going to put that block. This block is not yeah. square to the monument line. So here's what would be nice. At least that would be my two cents, just looking at that. And I remember asking for buildings to be shot on the other side here. Yep. Because it'd be nice to know. It'd be nice to have some buildings over here. Maybe there aren't any. So here's what I'd like. So we're done. I'm going to go in and clean up the labels here. Um, but what I would like is... Uh, I think we might have that building on the other side. Yeah. Um, that helps. What are you doing today? You're helping yeah. Elena and doing what else? Oh, oh Mills Park? Here's what I need instead of Mills Park. I need you to get it, get Google Maps and draw my buildings in for me. Okay. Draw exactly. my buildings and draw in my curves. I just want polylines, no labels or hatching or anything. We, we have a drawing like that already, I thought. Okay, well, you can find it for me. Okay. Okay, and then I'll, I'll drop it in. And I'll get this drawing cleaned up and then get you guys a PDF of it. That'd be good. Okay. I think I'm happy with where the lines are. And I probably really need to go back with the total station. I need to shoot mm -hmm. those four mons and uh, <coughs> reflect those the things on the corners. Yeah. Well, we got those. Figure out what's in the mon wells. Can I go to that side? Um, we'll see. I don't think I'm going to take the pretty girl back to San Francisco. Um, Did you, you take it? Frank? Cheaper than me and Frank, man. That's true, but Frank knows what he's doing. Yeah, he's just right. standing next to And I don't want Elena to get accosted by a crazy homeless person. And those are um, like inter uh, intersections. <laughs> so yeah, I probably got to go burn a day of field work, which is a major bummer. It is the way it is. All right, so did this help? Yeah. So now what needs to happen is these kind of ugly notes here, right? Need to get put in the sheet paper sheet paper space layout. Okay, and maybe I'll do that today, or I don't know. Maybe I'll save it for Elena. We'll see. Okay, but I'll I want to check the buildings and curves, and then I'll get the I'll edit the labels down and clean up the note. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Cool. Good times. We'll come back at one o'clock and talk about how to check utility surveys. You really hit that camera record button for me, or Hunter. Sure.